Yeah, you'll have to turn it off to flush it because I mean it's got really hot water. And you're yeah. gonna have to hook a hose to it. Okay. Or s either that or do the bucket brigade thing. I think we can go buy a hose. Yeah, we have a hose in the garage, right? Okay, where's that little ring? Um, over here on right the, the dryer. Oh, that's this? You're welcome. I'm not sure, but it's threaded, and I think that... Let's just keep kids from accidentally messing with it, probably. <laughs> Which is understandable. Or adults like me, who knows. Let's be very careful. There we go. This is gas, right? Yes, gas hot water heater. Ugh, I smell it. That oh, yep, that's what I showered in. Fracking in Candyland? <laughs> Did you see that? I have not seen that one. What is it? Oh, wait. <laughs> or is the part of the, 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 no, it's the comedy? No, it's the comedy guy. Oh, yeah, yeah John Stewart. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Notice we're testing out our water at 111. The most recent palindrome. He well, called it fracking in Candyland. Fracking in Candyland. Candy. Now, look here. Look here. Look at these molecules moving up towards the surface. And the reason they're doing that is because this stuff that I just got all over my hands oh gosh. is hydrophobic. It's a polar molecule and it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's nonpolar. Water's polar. This stuff will not, it's, hy it's, it's hydrophobic. You can see it doesn't want to mix with that water. And it's lighter than water. It's floating up to the surface. Oh. Right. So this stuff it also, somewhere in your hot water heater, is on the sides of the hot water heater. Mm -hmm. Well, you can see how soluble it is in water. Not very. Right. So it's coming in your system. It's not water salt, very water soluble. Some of it's, but you can see how all the little solid particles of it. And then it floats because it uh, has a higher buoyancy. It's less dense than water. So what's happening is this stuff is going up in your hot water heater and collecting like a ring at the top of the water level. Then when you flush it back out, it's going to form a bathtub ring inside your hot water heater. And then when you flush it, some of it's going to go back into solution. And the next time you flush it, some more. It's only 3 or 4% soluble. So the other 95% of it is sitting in your hot water heater. You're going to have to flush this hot water heater a lot of times to get this shit out of here. That's terrible. Wow. Is any of that stuff supposed to be in no. there? The collar-wise? No. This should be clear. 